Instagram where I can. Bruh, keep going, bruh. When you want to come in? Bruh, just go, bruh. Right now, hurry up. Hold on, do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another video. And today I will be showing y'all how to color on Adobe Illustrator and how to do a couple more things. Look, I'm gonna show y'all my methods, the methods I use when I'm finna do some artwork on there. So make sure y'all go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel, and let's jump right into it. I'm always losing my pen. First thing you want to do, if you got a tablet, if you're using one of these little things right here, first thing you want to do is go ahead and set your pen pressure sensitivity. Any program you use, you want to set that. So this is how you do it on Adobe Illustrator. Let me go back. Fix that at the bottom pressure and you would like to move this one like to five or four. It don't matter like five or four. And you come over here and move this to five two. Make both of the numbers even. So if you put four over here, put four over here, you put five over there, put five over there. Yeah. And click OK. And that's how this is the brush I use right here. I can go thick, small. First layer you want to do is like a rough sketch, and I made that like a pinkish color. So, get your shapes together so don't when you sketch it I know a, a lot of people when they sketch and they try to make it perfect but it's it's really it's just a rough draft where you can see where you're gonna put your lines so don't don't spend too much time like trying to oh man when it's just a when it's just like a sketch That's a good. So what I'm gonna do is click this arrow, and scale it all down. I'll scale it right there. Move it to the center. Boom, boom. Oh snap! Control, Control Z to go back step and you just keep clicking Z if you want to keep going back a step so let's see I say that's that's good enough now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock that layer and I'm gonna add another layer on top of it for my line work and now we're gonna go to the color black and this is where you want to kind of take your time because you want to go back and clean up things you know so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little detail. show y'all a little trick too since we want that same style of eye you're gonna use your your selection tool copy this and you're gonna hit you're gonna hold control and hit C to copy and then you're gonna hit control V to paste it again and while you still got this selected, right click it, go to transform and hit reflect. 
flag. Click OK. Now look. You know what I'm saying? That's that's one of my little one of my little secrets. A lot of times I like to take off take off the um the sketch just to see where I'm at, how it's looking without it. So you do that by clicking the eye that's on the sketch. Okay. Looking pretty good. Huh? straight now what you want to do is you want to get your selection tool highlight everything all the line work you want to get your selection tool highlight all the line work then you want to go to you want to go to object and expand appearance and click merge And that'll make all the lines that you made, it'll make it all one. See your layers, my layers right here. You want to grab the layer with, the, with your line work on it. You want to drag it to this blank sheet of paper. And that's going to make a, a copy of it. 
Okay, after you made your copy, you want to put a lock on the top one. Put a lock on the top one. Then you want to come over here, pick a color, or you can just create a color that you want to use. Okay, we're going to do hook. We're going to do hook. Move the color to the back. Use, click this box, this rectangle, the rectangle tool, and you want to stretch it over the artwork on your second layer and cover the whole picture. And then you want to click your selection tool, click the box you just made, make sure you got the red highlight around the box you just made with the color right click it go to arrange and send to back you gotta send it to the back of the line work okay once you see it it's sent to the back you you will see your line work on top of it in the little corner in the corner box with your layers you'll see your line work on top of the color and then get off of it click off of it highlight everything again and then you want to merge it all together get off of it click off of it go back to it click it then right click it and isolate selected group and now you can choose colors individually so I'm going to choose this color Lead it. I'm finna go to the eyes. Hold shift to click something twice to have two things highlighted. And we're gonna color the eyes. Color the teeth. Another thing I like to do, I like to go inside my layers, double click off of it, go inside my layer tool, and lock the line work. Just watch my cursor. I click this, open it up, the drop, the drop menu, and I only lock the black, the black lines. basic color now we finna add another layer to do shades you want to click a new layer and put it in between okay now we gonna get our dropper tool click the green that's on the skin and bring that color down so I'm for its shadow You gotta utilize your layers. So if you gotta go back, if you mess up on, or you don't like the way you shaded it, you can always delete that and start over.
Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to lock this layer, make another layer. And now we're going to go with a brighter color. So get your dropper tool, click that same green. But this time we're going to make it, make it brighter. Probably come down some. go ahead and hit that like comment subscribe if you have it and i'm gonna get right back with y'all next video